Welcome to Qt eLearning channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the decarburization, description of damage, a condition where a steel loses strength due to the removal of carbon and carbides, leaving only an iron matrix. Decarburization occurs during exposure to high temperatures, during heat treatment, from exposure to fires, or from high temperature service, in a gaseous environment. Affected materials, carbon steels, and low alloy steels. Critical factors, time, temperature, and carbon activity of the process stream, are the critical factors. The material must be exposed to a gas phase that has a low carbon activity, so that carbon in the steel will diffuse to the surface to react with gas phase constituents. The extent and depth of decarburization is a function of the temperature and exposure time. Shallow decarburization can slightly decrease the strength of the material but typically has no detrimental effect on the overall performance of the component. Decarburization associated with high temperature hydrogen attack in hydrogen services. Affected units or equipment. Decarburization can occur in almost any equipment that has been heat treated, exposed to elevated service temperatures, or exposed to a fire. Piping and equipment, in hot hydrogen service, in hydroprocessing units, or catalytic reforming units, as well as most fired heater tubes, can be decarburized in service. Pressure vessel components, that are hot formed during fabrication, can be affected. Appearance or morphology of damage Damage can be verified by metallography. The decarburized layer will be free of carbide phases. Carbon steel will become pure iron. Prevention Mitigation Decarburization can be controlled by Controlling the chemistry of the gas phase and alloy selection. Alloy steels with chromium and molybdenum form more stable carbides and are more resistant to decarburization. Steels operating in high temperature hydrogen environments should be selected in accordance with API RP 941. Inspection and monitoring. Decarburization can only be determined accurately by a chemical or physical test, which typically requires destructive sampling. Sampling location, condition, and preparation are critical. Decarburization results in a softening that can be confirmed by hardness testing if the depth of decarburization is sufficient to enable accurate hardness testing results. Field metallographic replication can be applied if the process side surfaces are accessible, but it is often inconclusive. Related mechanisms High temperature hydrogen attack Summary Description A steel loses strength due to the removal of carbon and carbides leaving only an iron matrix. The decarburized layer will be free of carbide phases. Carbon steel will become pure iron. Temperature range Decarburization occurs during 
exposure to high temperatures during heat treatment from exposure to fires or from high temperature service in a gaseous environment affected metallurgy carbon steels and low alloy steels prevention decarburization can be controlled by controlling the chemistry of the gas phase and alloy selection alloy steels with chromium and molybdenum form more stable carbides and are more resistant to decarburization inspection methods decarburization can only be determined accurately by a chemical or physical test decarburization results in a softening that can be confirmed by hardness testing field metallographic replication can be applied if the process side surfaces are accessible review questions question number one decarburization associated with answer is b question number two decarburization can occur in almost any equipment that is exposed to answer is a this lecture is prepared by samir saad and this is his profile Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for next lecture.